We're here, Zildjian Live, season two. Uh, guys, I'm, I'm honored to be sitting next to uh, the great Gurgo Berlai. Gurgo. Did I say um, your last name correct? Berlai. Berlai. Ah! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> here we go. Uh, Zildjian Live, season two. I'm sitting here with... I'm sorry, why am I... Here we are, Zildjian Live, season two, sitting next to my man, Gergo Berlai. Gergo, how are you, man? I'm good, how are you, right? I'm fantastic, bro, can't <laughs> complain. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. All is well with you? Oh yeah, hell yeah. Fantastic, Gergo, I've been, I've, I've been a, I don't wanna say a, I, okay, I've been a fan. Uh, uh, <laughs> I enjoy your playing very much, man, for a lot of reasons. Um, I love uh, the power, I love the sensitivity, um, the precision, the speed. Like you embody a lot of things, man. That um, you know, drummers, uh, it's, it's it's the dream to be able to have such um, you know creativity, but also um, precision. You know, um, my first question is. Are you a robot? <laughs> no. Fortunately, no. <laughs> Dude, I, I watch some things, man, that you play, and it's just, the speed is just, it's, it's, it's insane. I, that's not your only thing. It's not like you're a one-trick pony where, you know, everything you play is super fast, because you, you play, your groove is also really, really dope to me. It's super solid, but it's like when you decide to go there, bro, it's, it's something special. How did you develop this? Like, you obviously didn't start playing last week like you've been doing this for a minute like tell me a little bit about um your your upbringing how okay did you, how'd okay you start? so uh i started when i was three wow okay and um <clears throat> there was there wasn't chance to practice in my early years on drums really because of the neighborhood okay because just this was just an apartment, so mm -hmm. you know it was just loud. Yeah. So it was just physically impossible, and mm -hmm. uh, so I practiced on pillows. Wow. Okay. For years. Yeah. And uh, with a very, very heavy, thick sticks, because mm. I had no idea there's another option. So, okay. You know, just on yeah, the, yeah, okay, yeah. the drumstick has to be thick. Yeah, you know, so, yeah, yeah. So I was practicing a lot on pillows, which is no rebound. You know, it's kind of like a Wacom cleaner. Yeah. So mm -hmm. uh, I grew up in this direction, so I got a lot of power very, very early. Mm. I was the strongest guy in the elementary school. Wow, okay, yeah, wow. So, <laughs> so, and because of this, I got very, very good single stroke very early. Mm. So my point was, you know, just to clean this up mm -hmm. and being precise with that on drums. When I got the chance to practice on drums, which was actually quite late com compared to how early I started to play on drums, Yeah, you know. And then, you know, all, all my perspective mm -hmm. uh, was about to being clean. Gotcha. You know? Mm -hmm. So I was playing, when I got a chance finally to practice on drums, I was playing for hours and hours and hours without pauses, you know, just to, to get skills, to yeah. get licks, to get chops, yeah. improvising mm -hmm. randomly, you know, mm -hmm. endless, just to, just, just to, get the opportunity to hear all my notes I'm playing yeah, clean. Clearly, I got yeah. you. Wow. Yeah. It's working. I don't know, I'm trying, man. <laughs> <laughs> you, you got it, definitely, man. It, it's, it's crazy to me to hear um, in your playing, I, I hear a lot of different influences for you. Oh yeah. Um, I can tell that you definitely listen to cats like, like Vinny. Of course. I could tell you listen to cats like uh, Kirk Covington. Oh yeah. Um, He's in my top five. I can tell that you listen to guys like um, like Terry Bozio. Oh hell yeah! Um, it, it it comes out very very strong in your playing. Like you you're not you're not playing like these guys, 
but there are definitely shades of them that I can tell that you've incorporated in your playing. Like I can see and hear the influences. Can you tell me like who are some of the other guys that you are, you're into? Yeah. So, uh, I you know I don't like to talk about one big idol because yeah. I have many. Everybody yeah. has mm -hmm. had many. Uh, yeah. But I can tell you my biggest inspiration was Billy Cobham. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I see. I hear that for sure. I came from jazz. Uh, you know. Max Rhodes, Jack the Jonet, yep. mm -hmm. uh, Ed Blackwell, mm, yeah. all those cats, mm -hmm. and uh, but Billy changed my life radically. And uh, you know, there was my first interview ever mm -hmm. when I was eight or something like that. Wow, that was crazy. The guy asked me, uh, uh, "What do you want to be when you will be adult?" And mm -hmm. I said, "I want to be a black drummer." <laughs> <laughs> Okay, hey, we, hey, we, we halfway there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's dope. So you know, you know, all, I grew up on American music. Mm -hmm. uh, my favorite drummers are mostly black drummers. Yeah. So you know, I I I was just trying to combine this kind of black touch. Yeah. Music mm -hmm. with with my white possession. Yeah. You yeah, know. Yeah. Yeah. And. Uh, it's yeah, it's that. I mean, you know, Billy. You know, Billy. Yeah, he was a freaking powerhouse. Yeah, he was. And you know, all his uh, sentences mm -hmm. when he mm -hmm. started to roll from the smallest one till the yeah. biggest mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. and we are talking about twelve. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It shocked me. Yeah. And also, you know, the how you how you call this the the wave or I don't yeah. know how yeah like the crescendo. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's just. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So it just affected me a lot. So I can tell you, Billy, yeah. Billy, Billy is my guy. It's <laughs> funny, man. I was talking to uh, to Dennis uh, yesterday. Oh, Dennis too. Yeah, was, it, of course, legend. Of course, great. Uh, we were also talking about Billy and like the My Vishnu Orchestra. Oh yeah, and that stuff. And I remember, man, seeing a videotape of Billy. <clears throat> with the smallest T-shirt on. Oh yeah. And the biggest drum kit. Yeah. I mean, he had like a wall of like trinkets and symbols and things like yeah. over here on his left side and he was just so in the groove man and, and playing and then when it was time for him to open up bro it was like time stopped yeah and the things that he was playing everything had its place it was so intentional yeah but so strong oh yeah and so fast yeah but then so so chill and so beautiful when he wanted to be you know it's just like he just had a, a way of speaking his expression was so strong absolutely and, and know? that was my focus too you yeah. know just to having that super wide range of dynamic yeah you know yeah so actually i was practicing for years to get the chance to play the same thing what i can play loud mm -hmm. with the softest so, way yeah, softest touch you know which yeah. is much more difficult than playing loud yeah it is you know? it really is it's all about breaking yourself mm -hmm. you know? yeah yeah what's crazy we have a special surprise for you man i, I, oh. I know how you excited you are about um we anticipated that you were going to talk about Billy. Billy, come on in here. Oh, he's not here. Sorry, bro. I'll just. <laughs> <laughs> but it would have been nice if we. It would have been nice if we could have. If we could have pulled that off. <laughs> you know what? You know what? <laughs> I never met with him. I, yeah? I met with you all met my idols, before? but oh, not wow. with Billy. I'll tell you, man. We, we, we played, you know, we shared the stage many times, yeah. you know, here and there in Europe, mostly. Yeah. And, you know, he was the guy, when I saw him, you know, in the in the, in the back seat or something, mm -hmm. I wasn't brave enough to go there. Oh, I really? was like a kid, even you were, even if I was Well, he, he has that, I mean... He's, a, he's, he's like a Kung Fu master. He's yeah. like a Shaolin uh, monk. Like, yeah, so absolutely. Was, yeah. yeah. It, it, there are definitely certain guys, man, that have that... Um, just it, that that presence that they have, you yeah. know what I'm saying? It, it's it makes it not the easiest to be able to approach them, but don't worry, you still have time. Yeah, you know? he's around. You're around. He's still strong. And he's <laughs> definitely strong. Yeah. bro. it's crazy. Look, dude, I want to talk about this whole Zildjian live experience. Yeah. Uh, tell me, how'd you feel, man, when you got the call? And talk to me a little bit about your tune and about Sput. Uh, just give me the rundown on this whole experience. What it means to you? Okay. So first of all. Uh, <clears throat> I was playing with Zildjian when I was young for almost 15 years. Yeah, wow. So I kind of know everything, yeah. you know, about uh, Zildjian. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was the happiest guy mm -hmm. when when I got the contract. 
and uh, and uh, became an official musician, guys. Seriously, yeah. it was my freaking dream. That's dope. All my idols playing on Zigo Jung, yeah, and blah yeah. blah blah. You yeah. know, you I'm know this you. very well. I'm with you. So I remember my first call. I was in Barcelona, and you know, we were chatting with Sarah for 25 minutes, and I was like, okay, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Yeah. So, and then, uh, and Zildjian came up with the first Zildjian live mm -hmm. session. Yeah. And uh, every video is, is a jam. Musically, the, the playing, everybody, the band, the sound, the yeah. mix, yeah. the audience, the vibe, yeah. the, 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 the humanity, you yeah. know? Yeah. So, when Sara <laughs> wrote me an email, I was in LA, it was in around October. Mm -hmm. I was driving, I was in 101 traffic, of course. Of course, yes. So I had time to open my e email, email box, you know, and yeah. bling. Sorry. Hey, Gergo, uh, if you're around in January, I, I would like to invite you to be a part of Zillusion Live 2. <laughs> yeah. I'm serious. I'm I emotional. You. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I was like, no. No, it's impossible. Yeah, yeah. Again. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm. I was the happiest guy, and I'm still the yeah. happiest guy. I'm extremely proud and honored to be a part yeah. of this. And then Spot. I'm crazy with that dude. Yeah. Uh, we 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 were hanging sometimes in the past in a couple of drum festivals, like in uh, in Montreal. I think okay. we were yeah, there yeah, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. We did for sure. And I'm first of all, I'm crazy with his working. And uh, with his work and with his orchestrations, yeah. and uh, I just got the idea because I'm a composer, you know, I'm ending a lot and producing a lot for others and writing yeah. songs for others to yeah. to give one of my tune to his hand, yeah. Because uh, it's you know it will definitely better than the original. Okay, version. all right, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I uh, he pick up one he he picks up one song called "I'm Fat I Know." Okay. I wrote this because it's true, and uh, sounds like my theme song. But it's cool. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. And I wrote it ten years ago. Okay. It's a very, very slow funk tune. Yeah. yeah. And uh, he liked it, and yeah. he partly reorchestrated it. Okay. And he mixed it with uh, uh, with my other so song called "Week," which is in in seven four. So oh, we have nice a radical part. tempo and meter change in the middle of the song. Wow. And he renamed the song. I'm fatter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like it. So, and it's just amazing. He he sent me a demo, and then he he sent me a raw mix of the uh, uh, of their rehearsal, mm -hmm. and and I said, oh yeah, 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 this is the thing. But I have no clue. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and, yeah. Fantastic, man. That's dope. Well, I know Zildjian for sure is really excited to have you as part of the roster. Um, I know that they're extremely excited to have you part of this event today. And, um, and everybody, we're all looking forward to hearing you play and, and looking forward to the song. And man, it just, thank you for being here, bro. Thank you for being proud of this. And Thanks we look for forward to here. more things in the future, brother. Man, my dream came true, man. Absolutely. <laughs> Guys, Zildjian Live Season 2, Gurgo the Great. We got to check his performance out uh, later on in the day, all right? Thank you, guys.